Tax year 2020 will be complicated for the following reasons. More Americans than ever had life changes due to the COVID pandemic. Near 60 million people filed for unemployment benefits. 40 million people may be self-employed, full or part-time. There were not one but two sets of stimulus payments and not one but two but even more tax law changes. Near 60 million people will be unemployed or were unemployed during 2020 at some point and filed for unemployment benefits. Unemployment benefits are some of the most complicated tax rules in the tax code. Unemployment benefits are generally taxable, which many taxpayers do not realize, so they go on your tax return. Leave them off, the IRS may send you a, a, a nasty letter, an assessment, and penalty and interest. Unemployment benefits also do not automatically have tax withholding. You have to opt in as a part of that program generally when you apply, and most Americans do not. And even if you do apply, it's generally only at 10%, leaving many taxpayers way short when tax true-up time comes. And finally, there were tax law changes that helped reflect that this year. As part of the last year-end bill, they have now said that unemployment benefits may reduce uh, earned income and an, an, an earned income tax credit for many taxpayers. Therefore, they put a new rule in that said affected taxpayers can look backwards to 2019 and pick the bigger of their two years for their earned income credit. So unemployment benefits complicated in a typical year. This year with 60 million or more qualifying for them, there can be more complexity than ever and you need to look to that. The economic impact payments that have been made, not in one, and but in two sections. Uh, many taxpayers are asking, are those taxable? They are not. But they are important to keep up with them because not everybody got all of the money that they were due. The IRS set out the best information they could on the first payment based on the 18 and uh, 19 tax returns filed and on the most recent one on the 20, 000, uh, 2019 tax returns filed. But they in no means captured all the monies that were due every taxpayer. So taxpayers will need to take their form 1444 that reports how much stimulus payment they got and reconcile that on their tax return. Suppose you were laid off during the year or had hours changed or your income changed. What might that mean to your income taxes? Well, we all know that if you had less income during the year, you might owe less income taxes. But you also may qualify for new credits you never qualified before because you were phased out in a prior high income year. So if you had lower income or changed income, you might look to the earned income credit child tax credit or education credits to see if you now qualify. But more importantly than anything, know that if you had a lifestyle change and an income change, your taxes changed. And if you became self-employed this year because of a, a layoff or sequestering or lower hours, you may have a whole new set of tax return considerations because you're now self-employed. You may qualify for new deductions like the home office deduction. And finally, what else do I need to know about the economic stimulus payments? Well, the payments, as we said, came in two bundles, the first one back in March and April, and the second one just recently are still underway. If you did not get all of your money, you will reconcile that on your 2020 tax return as a recovery rebate credit, and you'll get caught up for tax law changes, for life changes, or for just others' errors and omissions by the IRS, and you didn't get the full amount of monies that you are due. So if you didn't get all of your money or all of your benefits or all of your deductions, you'll need to file a 2020 tax return and take advantage of all of those rules.